Hey team, so this is part two of the study tip videos. I'm gonna take a quick second just to explain a little bit between once we schedule what we need to learn and diving into the books, what are some things we can do to help ourselves? So the first thing is to make sure we know our why. Before we go into a chapter, we wanna see how it's applicable and how important it is. If it's a huge part of what we need to know, like pharmacology, we're gonna focus a lot more on it than maybe something like um, cellular structure. So with that being said, once we know our why and our importance, uh, we're going to try to activate our learning preference styles. So a lot of people could be visual, some people are audible, some people like kinesthetic, like writing or teaching. Um, so there's some tests online. If you don't already know your style, make sure you find out because you could just be trying to read when you're not a reader. And there are lots of resources available, especially YouTube now. Um, we have companion websites with interactive uh, tools, even things like the adult uh, anatomy and physiology coloring books are really good. So make sure you are uh, learning to your preferred style. The next thing is we need to make sure that we're aware of the forgetting curve. We forget, I think it's like 50% within the 30 minutes after we've learned something, all the way up to forgetting like 90% within a few weeks if we don't revisit. So we need multiple exposures. So don't try to cover everything all at once. Let's go through things step by step and um, constantly revisit. So next thing, let's make sure that we're doing our best to stay in good physical health, uh, sleeping, eating, um, working out. I know it's a lot. We have a huge volume to balance between our family life, our work life, and then this. Um, but that's where scheduling is going to come in. And we have to be in a good mental space before we can actually uh, get into the books and study hard. Uh, the next thing taking notes is going to be really important how you store them how you organize them i really advocate to have a system that works for you and part of that system because we're learning at home and not in a classroom is to have your study space now your study space may change it could be at work one day at home the next but make sure your study space is always quiet remove the distractions when you can turn your phone notifications off uh, try to use some music if that works for you or complete silence um, and just really set up um, kind of a habit or like a ritual so that you know when you sit down in front of your computer or the book, it's study time, not I sit down in front of my book, check Facebook, check my email, then get to it. Um, by programming this, your brain's gonna get ready and know it's time to study and focus. Um, <clears throat> finally, take short breaks uh, in between study sessions. I don't know if you've heard the Pomodoro method. They say that studying can be super efficient if you're about 20, 25 minutes on and then five, 10 minute break. Find out what works for you, set a phone timer. That way you can um, turn your phone on silent, set a timer, 25 minutes, power through what you need to focus on. When that timer goes off, quick one, two minute recap of your mind. What did I just read? How is it relevant? Then take a four or five minute, 10 minute break, whatever you need to reset. Don't get too distracted, don't go too far away though, and then come back, jump back in. Um, those are my suggestions for study tips, and next we're gonna go over textbook stuff. Uh, there are also some other videos on the same website under study prep, uh, offers a little more in-depth information on it.